The New Zealand Milk Curve. Our temperate climate allows for abundant grass growth without the need for expensive imported feed, heated barns or feedlots. Instead, healthy free-range cows graze on lush pastures beneath the majestic Southern Alps of New Zealand's South Island year-round to produce high-quality grass-fed milk for Westland. Fresh rain one minute, dazzling sunshine the next. It's an unpredictable climate and intense environment where grass grows brilliant green and pastures thrive. It is ideal free-range grazing land, and it is from here that our grass-fed cows produce the naturally rich cream and milk that our products are made from. Studies show that dairy products made from the milk of free-range cows are not only natural and taste better, but are also more nutritious than milk produced by cows that have a high proportion of cereal and grains in their diet. Grazing on grass is a cow's natural state here at Westland, but it is in fact a minority practice in global dairy production. Up to 90% of the world's milk is produced by cows that don't graze. Our milk curve and grass growth curve follow a similar line, as grass growth influences milk production levels. The dairy season begins in August, with milk volumes increasing in September as spring weather aids grass growth. Milk volumes peak between October and December when grass growing conditions are at their best and the cows produce the most milk. As the weather cools and the days become shorter, grass growth slows and milk volumes reduce. New Zealand cows typically stop producing milk in May, ready for a well-earned rest. The milk curve is influenced by factors such as weather, grass growth, herd sizes, individual cow production and total number of suppliers.